hello guys uh, welcome to big book uh, today we are going to discuss on anthron's test it is a kind of qualitative test it is to check only the compound present it, this is again a general test for all carbohydrates anthron tends to principle is where we are going to use the sulfuric acid to hydrolyze the glycosidic bonds to yield monosaccharides from the polysaccharides carbohydrate high dehydrates in presence of acid to form furfural which is again a aldehyde and uh, these furfurals are going to form the many types of de derivatives depending upon the kind of the monosaccharides are going to be present thus the formed furfural derivatives react with anthron to give a bluish green complex polysaccharides and glycoproteins also give a positive reaction this is the principle this is the picture depicting the principle in this you can see a dextrose glucose has been subjected with H2SO4 where because of that the three molecules of water has been removed and a hydroxymethyl furfural has been formed which is again a aldehyde you can see that the aldehyde is with the CHO group it is a hydroxymethyl furfural hydroxymethyl in the sense CH2OH is the one end and the other end you can see C4 and other end you can see CHO that is the hydroxymethyl furfural further this hydroxymethyl furfural is going to react with the anthron to cure the bluish green complex in this in this again the principle the further the procedure is the we have to take 1 to 2 ml of the test solution in a test tube and we have to add 2 to 3 drops of anthron to the test tube solution gently we have to shake the mixture solution and again we are going to take ml of concentrated sulfuric acid through the pipette and we have to drop the concentrated sulfuric acid along the sides of the test tube and we have to observe the reaction where we will observe the bluish green color at the junction of two layers if there is no appearance of any color at the junction of the two layers that is the whatever the reactants already we have placed that is the um, sample and the anthron where the mixture is going should react with the H2SO4 which we are going to pour along the sides of the test tube so if it is not going to happen then we have to keep the test tube in the boiling hot water bath for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes we have to observe the reaction again so here here at the first step itself at the maximum in the maximum reactions we are going to get the results so if in some cases we, if we are not going to get any kind of the result then we are going to uh, do the step of the boiling water and to observe the results so this is the so this is the anthrons test which is uh, again similar to the molish test here we are using anthron in molish test we are using the alpha naphthal but here this is the test which is again showing the presence of the carbots, carbohydrates here you can see that uh, there is a picture attached in this slide 
where we can see the solution has turned to the green bluish green so this is the result this should this is how the results should appear when you are going to perform the test thank you guys for tuning the to the big book if you have any doubts or if you have any concerns and comments please comment below and uh, spread the word of the big book and also the contents which has been uploaded in the form of the slides or the video logs and we request your feedbacks and suggestions and requests thank you be tuned to big book